Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this very nice 2016 Chevrolet Suburban. This one is just a fairly standard LT model, but still very nicely loaded inside and out. Outside, you can see this one is finished off in a black exterior, which looks fantastic on the vehicle. Just super clean. Outside, you can see your tinted rear privacy glass, as well as your fuel cap on the driver's side, your LT badge right there, some chrome trim around your windows, as well as body colored door handles, body colored mirrors on this one as well, with your blind spot mirrors built in. See your running boards down below, as well as your Suburban and LT badges. I have to say, I really like the look of this thing all blacked out like this. Around the rear, you can see this one does have a trailer hitch, as well as your rear backup sensors, rear backup camera. From the key, you can release the rear glass, just like that. As well as, if you press twice, we'll release your trunk, which is full power on the LT. Press twice, and it will bring it back down. Coming up to this side, this one is riding on Falcon tires. They are 265, 65 R18s, so 18-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one as well. You can see someone upgraded this one to kind of some light all-terrain tires, which I think looks really good. Everything follows through on this side. This one as well, for black paint, is super clean. And up front, you can see your LED daytime running lights, projector headlights. This one as well is equipped with remote start. Just make sure it's locked, press and hold. And just like that, it will start up. Otherwise, on the key, lock, unlock your power trunk controls and panic, as I showed. Go ahead, get in this one. And inside, this one does have the black leather interior. So your full power driver's seat. And to start, all you have to do, just insert the key, and in typical GM fashion, just flick. Go ahead and close the door. And once you're inside of the Suburban, as you can see, the LT does give you a leather-wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power steering. On the wheel itself, your cruise controls over here for collision alert, as well as all of your controls for the center display. But you can bring up your audio, phone, nav, as well as different settings basically any information you need to know about the vehicle. Typical GM, your audio controls are on the back of the wheel, and then you do have your column shifter, six-speed auto right there. Low gear, manual mode, as well as your tow haul mode on the end. Reverse, this one of course does have a rear backup camera. In the middle, your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and then all of your auxiliary gauges up top. Over here, all of your wipers, everything on one stock, they are rain sensing in the LT. On the door, it's padded soft leather up here. You do have some padded soft leather on your uh, armrest, as well as all of that. All four automatic windows, your rear child locks, as well as power mirrors, power locks, everything else. Headlight controls over here, they are automatic as well. And then your gauge shimmer on the side. Four wheel drive controls, which is very nice because we are down here in the south where the two wheel drive ones are very common. Your power pedal adjustments, uh, lane keep assist, as well as parking sensors and traction control. Dashboard, all soft material, very nice, high quality. You can see your stitching above the gauge hood, which looks great. Hazard controls right there. Up top, you do have your auto dimming review mirror, your OnStar built-in, typical GM fashion. Up top as well, your conversation mirror, and then a sunglasses container, as well as all of your interior lighting and trunk controls. Down here in the middle, this one does have your typical MyLink system. Going to the home screen, can bring up your audio, phone, nav, which as you just saw, this one is equipped with. Being an LT, it does have the uh, Bose audio system, which really does sound fantastic in here. And very nice too, this one does have a CD player, AM, FM, auxiliary in, um, Bluetooth audio streaming, satellite radio, everything you'd expect. If you press right there, does access your little hidden storage compartment with a USB port inside of it. Your dual zone automatic climate control down below where you want the air coming from around here and then your fan speed. Your rear defrost controls right there, AC, and then like I said, zone for the driver, zone for the passenger, and then all of your rear climate controls right there is single zone automatic. 
The LT does give you heated seats for the driver and passenger. They are three stage. You have this very nice leather stitching around the center console as well. Two cup holders, as well as two USB ports and a power outlet up top. Padded armrests in the middle. Very, very nice and some storage up there. As well as you do have more of the wood grain. Storage inside, your USB ports over here, auxiliary in, there's a power outlet. Seats, very comfortable in this one. High quality leather, I mean, they just look and feel great. You have the stitching around the edges as well. I mean, this is just your classic American family hauler inside and out. But I have to say, this generation really has aged well. I kind of appreciate the old truck uh, touches, sort of like the column shifter and things like that. But at the same time, this really is almost like a legit luxury vehicle. Go ahead and step out. Also did forget to mention that the driver's seat is full power, power lumbar. Then you do have your parking brake there, as well as seat memory down below. Go ahead, pop the hood as well. And stepping into the rear seat of this one, this one does just have the bench seat. So you have three seats straight across and then your armrest, of course. To access the third row, release right there, and it will drop down, and then you can actually flip it forward. You can see third row seating for three. Obviously the advantage of getting the Suburban over the Tahoe is it's actually a usable third row. Do have storage compartments, power outlets, cup holders, everything like that. Close your air vents. Bring this back down, nice and easy. Honestly, I prefer this over waiting for the power setups and the more loaded ones. Door panel materials, everything follows through. Your padded stitched leather around here, wood grain, it's your Chevrolet door sills. And obviously, I mean, once I'm in the back seat, I'm six foot two, no complaints. I have plenty of space. Same very comfortable leathers up front. You have your armrest in the middle, two cup holders, and up top your air vents well as all of your interior lighting controls. In the middle, climate controls for the rear passengers, as well as power outlets, everything like that. Just a great place to be inside. In this one too, usually by the time these are traded in, they are absolutely destroyed by families. This has to be the cleanest Suburban inside and out I've ever filmed. Back here, to release the glass, press up top. You can see, very cool design. I love that these still have that in 18. And then to access the trunk, just press, and it will power release. And inside you can see, once again, the advantage of buying a Suburban over a Tahoe. Plenty of rear seat room. You have your power outlet on the side, different tie downs, things like that. Storage below there. And then your jack tools and everything else on the side. Third row is manual in the LT, but once again, just so much faster and easier to use. Everything follows through on this side. Same operation to access the third row. I think this side actually is just kind of a, yeah. So this side's actually more of a one and done type thing. Obviously passenger side, easier entry to the rear seat. Up front, power passenger seat in the LT. You can see your Bose badging on the speaker. Inside the glove box, this one does include some of your owner's literature, some maintenance records. You can see this for uh, your capless filler system. And up front, your projector headlights, LED daytime running lights. And then under the hood, this one does have Chevy's 5.3 liter V8. Everything under here is in great shape. Running fantastic. And just super clean. Go 
We'll go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up, and just cut it off right here. Move the key, and headlights back in auto mode. As always, the Suburban is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.